Hey, my SQL learners. So let's talk about your lab environment because of course you need an environment to practice and follow along my videos if you would like to. And the, the lab environment uh, I am actually recommending you to create is basically going to be on AWS. And of course it can be any cloud of your choice, uh, but I will be using an AWS instance. So if you haven't created an AWS account, go ahead and create it and make use of all the free tier offerings provided by AWS. Even if the free tier trial period has ended, uh, you can still use AWS account and you can use uh, the instances when you need to practice and then shut them down. That way they don't cost you much. So I strongly recommend having an AWS instance and I will be showing you a demo of uh, creating this instance and then later I'll show you how to install MySQL in this instance and uh, that's what I will be using uh, for all my lessons. And of course, the reason for this recommendation is this kind of environment will uh, resemble close to what you might do in real time actually. You can take all these learnings to your work. So optionally, you can install MySQL on your Windows or Mac laptop. Uh, that is fine. Uh, the main advantage of that approach is you don't need to do anything extra like creating an AWS account, uh, but you will be uh, running the database on your laptop uh, and then database software is a little bit resource intensive. So it can eat up a lot of memory and CPU and your computer might be a little slow. And of course, uh, the, the experience that you will get from uh, learning things on your laptop locally, um, basically it will be different from what you will do in the real world. So those are two different approaches and I'm suggesting the AWS approach. All right, so now let's move on to the next lesson. All right, my SQL learners. So once you have created an AWS account and sign in, you will land on this dashboard or this page and you can go to the services menu right here and then under compute, you can choose EC2. So over here on the left hand side, you can choose instances. And then here we're gonna create an instance which will be our lab environment. So click on launch instance. And then let's choose an image for our instance. So I'm going to choose a Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8, 64 bit. And my instance type is going to be T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. And you need to choose an appropriate subnet. If you just created an AWS account, you can just leave, uh, leave it whatever default subnet that shows up for you. For me, I'm going to choose maybe a specific one and then make sure to enable this auto assign public IP option because that will assign a public IP to your instance using which you can SSH into your instance uh, from your laptop and leave all the other settings as this. And let's allocate like 25 gigs for the database or for the entire instance. And you can just leave the rest as is. Go to the next page where you can create a tag for your instance. So I'm gonna call it MySQL instance um, one. Go to the security group page and then here, what's important is that you need to be able to SSH into the instance and you need to, you need to create proper firewall rules for that. 
anyone basically anyone in the world can log into this instance via port 22 and that's not secure at all and I will take care of this instance because once I finish recording I usually remove it so I know how to handle this but when you create rules make sure to put your laptop's IP in there just so it's more secure then now you can review your configuration and then click on launch but if you want you can create a new key pair and then just give it some name and then download it before you create the instance for me I'm just going to uh, choose an existing key pair maybe this one and I say acknowledge uh, maybe a different one all right this one and launch instance now your instance is getting created and it might take a couple of minutes to create this instance okay that's how you create an EC2 instance and now that my instance is up and running and uh, I can see the public IP uh, later I will be installing MySQL on this instance so that's what I wanted to show you in this lesson.